going on. So, uh, two weeks in. These are the ones that were in the bags that I peeled all the leaves on. Starting to get some new leaves out of that. Big leaf out of that. These were the two tops. Peeled all the way back. It's been raining a lot, so these things are pretty wet. So, I'm trying to keep an eye on them. But I just wanted to do a quick two week update. Show you what was going on with these. Beanings are starting to fill in, especially this one back here. So hopefully they'll start blooming soon. There's that little nub, it's starting to get a couple of leaves sprouts out of it. This is a cutting. What up? These are the bag ones. Just wanted to show you the growth on the leaves. It's two days after the last, first time I shot. It. And uh, starting to get some growth on here and here. So, pretty excited about that. I'm a little worried about that one. It's been way too much water. All these other ones are doing fine. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the leaf off too.
What up everyone, doing a three week update on these. Um, it's been raining a lot and I've been really sick, so I haven't really been able to get out here. But here's this one. This one actually uh, knocked a root ball off when I was putting it in, so pull all the leaves off. You'll see the little videos in between. These were the two in the plastic bags. These were the two in the water bottles. This is a new one that was giving me a full graft. Just waiting for it to take off. Go over to these bonsai adeniums. So lots of new growth in there. This one's the one we did the full cut back on. Camp is really healthy on it. Really full. This one. Some new sprouts. coming out the hole yeah that one's really filling in corn plant what up so yeah um those methods i tried out they work pretty good but i'd say you have to be super careful because you really don't want to knock the root balls off i would say the safest way to go with any plant of any kind of plumeria is just start it off in the pot that you want to keep it in and if you're going to do the back just to see how the roots come out, I mean, it's all good. But it's pretty easy. But we start getting into those uh, plastic cups and plastic water bottles and bigger, like, smaller pots. It's going to be easier for you to knock that root ball off. And once you knock that root ball off, you're starting all over again. You got to pull all the leaves. Um... Sorry about my voice. I hope I can get it back in the next couple of days. I'm going to be doing some cuttings off of uh, that one. I'm going to show you why it's important to take the Y cuttings and try to stay away from buying plumerias from people online. Because if you get these little single plumerias that they're just cutting and they're buying, I mean, you're kind of getting ripped off. So you want to go straight to any kind of plumeria dealers that don't buy any from anyone but selling them on YouTube um stay tuned hopefully get some more videos out there soon